energy. Boom. What's going on guys? How are you doing? And welcome back to another video. Today, well today guys, this video is all about competition. You guys know exactly what my life plan is to make a business and earn money from it. That's all I want financially wise in the world. Looking at a serious plan right here. Start my own business get money and I was gonna make another video today which I will still make but due to something that's happened today this needs to be made right now so let's get straight into it competition I woke up this morning guys and what you normally do each morning sitting there in my bed just scrolling down my Facebook feed and then boom what pops up I don't know if you guys remember the homeless charity that I filmed the video for um, they've released another video which was absolutely amazing then guys absolutely smashing the cause absolutely awesome love what they're doing for the homeless people but this is where comes my competition which takes me back about a year ago when I was still filming on this Canon which I was kind of filming cinematics of at the start of this video when really I'm filming on the Sony a6300 right now but I was filming on that old Canon that you guys saw and they had this camera that I have right now and they were filming with it and it was my dream camera at the time, which magically now I have. And obviously guys, I was like asking questions. I was thinking to myself, I just need to go up to him. He has a gimbal, which I want. He has a camera, which I want. I need to ask this guy a few questions. So I walked up to him and they just completely said they can't talk, they're busy. Started talking to someone else, it's just so rude. And as a business, that's not how you run. You're not gonna get anywhere if you have rude staff. And, well, I'm not gonna lie, I don't respect businesses like that. I could have been a potential customer. They didn't know that until I had asked my questions. Um, I could have been anyone asking for a video, and if they came across to me like that, I wouldn't ask for a video. Never would I ask for a video from someone being that rude to me in the street. Like, okay, fair enough, you're trying to concentrate on the video that you're filming at the time. I can walk up and down the road holding a gimbal, filming a hyperlapse, and talk to someone at the same time. It really doesn't take that much. <laughs> And come on, the hyperlapse wasn't the best anyway. Now, I'm not going to name and shame the business which it was because obviously I'm not like that. I don't want to put hate towards them. It's just me stating a point in successfully running your own business. But you guys all know Gimbal Dave as well. He has the same problem with them. He's tried speaking to them before and they came across to him really rude too. So this is where I get my competition. So I've seen that I've just lost a client to one of my competitors, which is a major where it throws you down when you see that um because you're as a business startup that really throws your confidence in creating videos because it puts thoughts through your head like am i not creating well enough what do i have to do to get in ahead of this other business and i've been thinking about it all morning and i've just got to compete with this business which is why i want to give you guys a heads up with whatever business you are creating it could be a restaurant it could be a hair salon it could be a band it could be absolutely anything even with a youtube channel all it takes is a niche you have to be different from the others because obviously i wasn't doing enough different from this other company to uh make my client feel like i was the one to pick over them and yes i know my video production may not have been as fast as others because I do go to college as well, I do work as well, and I do have a life outside of it, and I wasn't being paid, and that shouldn't be any matter in this. However, it's time for me to think up a brand new leash. And while I've been planning this one for a while, and it's gonna make me stand out from the other businesses. So here's how it goes. Usually a business would offer in the media production company kind of industry, they would offer a meeting with the client just to kind of summarize what they want tell you what you want because if you're putting your work into editing it you want it to basically be as quick and efficient as you can so you can move on to your next client you don't want to be pondering on clients too long so that you end up having to cancel other people you want as many jobs as you can possibly get so you want to get a good understanding and while sometimes when clients don't make it quite so clear as to what they want you're going to run into problems such as when you're filming, you're not gonna know what you're doing, or even at the final edit, they're not gonna accept that and they're gonna send you back again. But usually businesses, for some reason, charge an absolute bomb for editing going back again. Which of course, if they make you go and re-edit it and send them a second cut, of course you're gonna charge them, but I wanna put a little spin on that to try and help my customers out price-wise. And also give me a second chance as a creator and as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur myself. So what I would do is, I would give them the first video and then offer one 
free change. And then every change after that is like 20 pounds or so for my time on top of the original price, which I gave them for the other cut, if that makes sense. And this should make me stand out from any other media production business around here. I'm not gonna lie, what happened today was quite a scare to me because I live in such a remote, kind of unbuilt up area. I don't know of any other media production companies apart from this one. So I was going out there thinking full-minded, I have no competitors, no one to worry about, because obviously I'd seen the hyperlapse from these people and I thought I can do better than that. Like I can absolutely smash these people. They have nothing on me, but I thought wrong. And yeah, I admit defeat. However, that's not a proper defeat. That's a defeat this once. I'm gonna come back 10 times harder and smash their ass and take their clients. And this is all about competition. This is gonna crop up in absolutely any business anybody starts. You can't get away from competition. Every single business in the world is competing with someone else. Someone else selling the same thing, someone else offering the same services, absolutely anything you're competing. Whether it's Apple and Samsung, whether it's Mackie's and KFC, whether it's Facebook and Twitter, like you can even see how it works with Facebook. They're all changing around Snapchat now. Snapchat needs a new niche ASAP because everyone's going back to Instagram because they're not unique for their stories anymore. Facebook and Instagram have taken the stories from Snapchat. And all of these different companies are competing together and I, it's exactly the same with me and this other company around here, just on a far smaller scale. And it's frustrating, man. It is. I don't know what to do to gain clients back other than to gain their confidence back and maybe improve on what I did last. But it hurts, man, it hurts. To know that someone respected your work and then goes and gets it redone. Uh, but it's all competition, it's what it's all about. It's part of running your own business. And at the end of the day, I can't have every client in the world. So there we go guys, just a quick lesson there on what to do basically when you get competition in a business and just what to expect really when starting up your own business. Anyway guys, I hope this has helped you in some form whatsoever. Um, if you're starting up a new business, that's awesome. Make sure you tell me down in the comments section down below. Any questions you have, drop down in the comments too. Smash that like button if you did like the video and subscribe if you guys are new. And well, of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys very soon. Easy.